internet, they be quick to call people snitches and and this and that. Well, hey, I give you that, right? I give you that. But the flip side is, I just feel like the reason why they snitching is because they never was real gangsters. <laughs> you feel me? There wasn't no real street dude. They was playing a part. It was like they was playing a move. They thought this was training day. You feel me? <laughs> they, they out there like, King Kong ain't got on me. Shoot program. <laughs> That's what they thought, right? They thought it was a movie. They thought, okay, we can go out here and hurt people, but at the end of the movie, I get to go home because that's what snitching is, right? <laughs> the snitching is, at the end of the day, you get to go home at some point. You don't have to sit and sell block eight. You feel me? You don't have to wash your dra drawers in the toilet. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to share a bunk bed with another grown-ass man. You feel me? Smelling all a gas every night. So... That's what snitches are. They really ain't street. They lying to y'all, bro. All they doing is setting y'all up for failure, man. You know what I'm saying? They setting you up for failure. Because they playing a part like it's a movie. And long as the money coming, long as they get away from the police, y'all good. You ain't got to worry about them snitching on you until reality kick in until they have to face the consequences of their action and now they're telling them like it's a football game 10 20 30 40 50 years and now they get to tell it you know what i'm saying you know what i mean because it's like if you ever watched that show uh first 48 you know they used to give them the ultimate feast I don't even think they're giving them that no more. They probably taking them to McDonald's, bro. You get a number two or a number one, and you can't supersize, and they get the talent, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Before you get an ultimate feast and maybe a cigarette, they taking you to McDonald's. That's how much y'all snitching now. Matter of fact, they ain't even giving y'all no combo meals. You got to pick from the from the uh, what's that the um the value meal. <laughs> you get you a mick chicken or a mick double with a small fry. That's it. You don't get no drink, nothing, bro. That's how much they snitching now. They ain't getting no ultimate feast. They ain't getting no Newport. They ain't getting none of that, bro. <laughs> you getting a striker. They don't give you a striker cigarette. <laughs> One cigarette. You feel me? And take your ass to McDonald's, bro, and go off the value menu. You ain't even getting a menu. You're not even getting a combo, bro. <laughs> That's how much they snitching. They downgraded y'all down to the value meal, bro. I would call it the dollar menu, but that don't exist no more. <laughs> Unless you're getting a coffee or a, or a soda. You feel me? Other than that, you got to go off the value meal. Gucci, you want the McChicken or the McDouble, playboy? We got you. You know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of people were saying the streets is a myth. I mean, it always been a myth if you really want to be honest. Because you can't say, you can't tell me what era when you didn't have snitches. <laughs> tell me an era where it wasn't a snitch. And y'all was out there doing criminal activity. I'll wait. You know what I'm saying? I'll wait. It maybe wasn't so flamboyant, you know, uh, how they so quick to do it so openly today. Okay, I give you that. But anybody that's in the streets or anybody that study the streets, right? You know, snitching is part of the streets. That's the street culture. You know, you want to talk about culture? Snitching is part of the street culture, bro. So if you're in the streets, you got to understand at some point in time, either you're going to snitch or your partner or the, you know, the, the chick you laying up with or your plug is eventually going to snitch on you, playboy. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, yeah. That's how it goes, man. So snitching is the culture of the street life. So if you're not prepared to snitch or if you're not prepared for your partners to snitch on you so you can do all the time while they at they at your baby mama house, you feel me, getting it in. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You said, you remember how you was telling your partners how your girl got that Gobble Gobble 3000? She got that Aquafina? Oh, yeah, yeah, they going to be testing that out while you doing 20 years because you ain't getting out for a long time. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about your kids. Don't worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Your partner and them, they're going to take care of them. You know what I'm saying? Or not. <laughs>
You feel me? So don't worry about that. You do 20 years, cool. Why are you doing 20? You know, your girl be bouncing around in this one, that one. Oh, my bad. She ain't your girl no more. You're doing 20 years. She's going to leave you after about a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Because they usually stick around for about, I'll give you a good one to stick around for maybe two years. But by that third year, them packages really slow up. You don't get them many pictures no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got a new dude. They may got married. You know, and they don't want no issue with their new man. <laughs> you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And now your kids is calling the next man daddy. But don't worry about that. That's not important to you because you a street dude. You want to enjoy the fruits of your labor and you're going to do the 20 to 40 years and don't worry about it. So you, like they say, you ball for five and then you do 40 years after that. So don't worry about it. That's not important. Family, kids, wife, you, you know what I'm saying? Your grandma, don't worry about none of that, bro. You can, what's, that's not important. What? You want to get out here and live your life, playboy? You were you a real slider. <laughs> you feel me? You a real slider out here. You getting active. You doing this. You doing that. Cool, cool, cool. You know what I mean? Until you find out, you feel me? Your, your best partner, your best goon is laying up with your chick, bro. Now you ready to sing, but it's too late. It's too late. Too late, baby. Should have snitched already, but your partners did it already. Hey. <laughs> Should have snitched already, but your partners did it already. Hey. I'm just saying, bro. Y'all too gangster for me, man. Y'all know what I mean? And then I'm hearing snitches that, you know, some of they pay, they, some of them get over 100000 a year to be out here. You feel me? Running a mouth. Snitching on this person, <laughs> bro. You, you know what I'm saying? You can be working fast food. You ain't gonna see no hundred thousand, but you got people out here talent, out here snitching, man, because they wasn't really no street dude. They was out here false flagging. <laughs> what they say, false flagging, man. You feel me? You got a whole bunch of dudes. Matter of fact, you right now, anybody call yourself a street dude, somebody next to you right now is false flagging, bro. And you will never find out until they facing them football years. You will never find out until they, until they get into a pinch and they don't have no way of getting out until they have to give up you. Huh? And then that's that's when that value meal is going to come out. <laughs> you feel me? That's when you they gonna get that value meal. You can get that mick chicken or that mick double with a small fry and one of those little. You know they gonna matter of fact they ain't even getting the soda. They gonna get the water cup, bro, with no top, no straw, no nothing. They gonna give them a water cup, a mick chicken or a mick double with a small fry, and they gonna get the talent. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, they gonna get the talent, man. Yeah, you know I mean, that's how much they snitching today. They don't even get the value. They don't even get the combo meal. They have to order off the the value meal. You feel me? They gotta order them a McChicken or a McDouble, bro. Back in the days, you know, on First 48, they used to get the Ultimate Feast, a Newport, fresh Newport, man. Now you're getting the Striker, <laughs> Striker cigarette, you know what I mean? The ones with no filter on them. And they take you to McDonald's. You don't even get a combo, bro. <laughs> but hey, you're a street dude, so you should be used to that because snitching is part of your program. Snitching is part of your culture, man. You feel me? Welcome to your new culture. You know, how, how cool does this sound? How cool does it sound when you, you know, your, your culture is snitching is upon you? <laughs> you know what I mean? The, qu the question is, is how quick are you going to snitch? Or how quick they're going to snitch on you? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, like I said, I got to give a shout out to uh, Troy Ave because at least, at least he stood on business, man. Because on his, on the video he put out, he didn't, uh, 
He didn't. He didn't look like he was good. He definitely wasn't snitching. I mean, he he told on tax stone, but shoot, I would have too, man. But the people that was in that car, they wasn't a part of tax stone. That's why I didn't know that those people in that car didn't do that. So hold on, I got something from uh, Troy Ave. Let me see if I can play it. You might see me. You might not see me for a while. But just know. Hold up, we'll play it back. All right, child, here you go. I can run up in the court. You might cheat me, you might not see me for a while. But just know, the streets is a myth. All the people that was in the car with me, I ain't up taking the you, know? you heard that? Rewind that back. He said, all those people in the car, I had to take the charge for the gun. Huh? Listen to this back one more time, man. This is for y'all street dudes in the back, right? This is for y'all street dudes in the back. Well, listen to this, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody shot at me. Instead of me laying down and dying, I'd have been a hero or a martyr. I take the gun and bust back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And here you have it. Here go the consequences. But we don't crowd spill milk. Right. You take the lemons and you make lemonade. You feel me? God is great and paper straight. <laughs> take lemons and make lemonade, man. Shout out to t <clears throat> Shout, out, shout out to Troy Ave, man. Shout out to Troy Ave, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can say what y'all want to say about that man. I personally do not know him. This is not being, I'm not being paid for this. You feel me? <laughs> I don't know this dude from a, from a, from a hole in the wall, but I, re I respect any man that at least, good or bad, they stand on what they stand on. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm doing this video, this live, the way I'm doing it, because for anybody that's looking for or trying to get an understanding, this is what you have to look forward to when you want to get into this criminal activity. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't writing letters to the judge, you know, telling the judge, oh, yeah, you know, you, you looking for them extra guns? I can show you. I can tell you where they at. Nah. He stood on business. He did his time. Or he's about to do his time. For the acts that he was involved in. And like he said, you know. He had to react. In a tragic situation. Because his best friend. Closest friend. You know what I'm saying? The thing that happened in the club, he was reacting. And at least with Troy Ave, he's standing on business, unlike them dudes that was in the car with him, with them guns. Because the guns never made it in the club. That the ones that Troy Ave had in the car. But somehow, Troy Ave, the only one out of that whole vehicle, was charged 